New Souls-like game, Anatria, the last song is an Italian-based Souls game, which is awesome because I'm Italian myself. So it is so cool to dive into this game today. They have their demo available and I am excited to be playing this. Now, they get straight to business. This game does not play around. They let you know that it's a Souls-like game and it is simplified in what we're familiar with with Souls games from stamina, your heals, your loadouts, and just the simplicity of the game. This game does have potential. There is some bugs that need to be fixed up. Uh, the reason why I say that is this game is for sure better than Lords of the Fallen. This sticks to the simplicity of a Souls-like game. I don't know if it excels anywhere in my opinion but it definitely sticks to the actual credentials of a souls like game at least for the majority part now there are things you can be nitpicky about but that's cool but the meaty part of this process is this the game loop is everything it is semi open world so it's pretty cool to see all the at least for a demo it's pretty cool to see all the scenery and stuff it is ruthless probably one of the shortest games that i've gotten to the point probably in my life it literally jump into like a, a simple tutorial then boom you're in there you are in the world and you better get ready if you're familiar with souls and souls like games and from soft games then you already know <laughs> how hard it is even to face just straggler enemies and the ops this game lets you know that everybody is strong in this game <laughs> so you better know your dodge mechanics you better know when to parry they have a cool mini parry aspect they have their parries everything that we know from rest it is literally a copy and paste i want to say cookie cutter for the most part but it is this the same they didn't want to ruin in any format from a souls like game which is cool i would say probably one of the better ones we've seen at least for now i might be jumping the gun it could be like a personal aspect that i enjoyed more i do enjoy the movement in here it's not overly fast where it becomes a hack and slash not too slow where i feel clunky while playing this game to really test your skill and to have that skill gap when it comes to facing bosses i didn't face that many bosses it's a demo but i did get to the overall correlation and understood the game it is linear to the part that this game's gonna be great for people that don't know souls games at all obviously we look towards liza p lords of the fallen at times and other types of souls like games that can maybe introduce people a different variation of it have something for I, I i guess a beginner is what you're thinking about in this demo but it's still hard as shit so it's not really a beginner game but it does have a simplified notion to understand this game and i love that it is like what i said it, it it has linear in terms of what you need to do it gets to the point here you gotta do this you gotta do this you gotta do this here's a loadout this is how you change your loadout your stances here's your dodge here's your parry here how you can use certain abilities and skills that enhance you everything whether it's magic or whatever i think in my opinion if you can stick to the script it can really excel in its own right sometimes less is more and which i think that lords of the fallen why it can get a lot of hatred at times because sometimes they were trying to just overdo other things that could have just been kept to a notion to keep the credibility and the cultural aspect of souls games as i was moving around it, it is fun it's harsh it, it is unforgiving it's definitely an unforgiving souls like game so you got to be prepared but it's also great for beginners at the same time i would put this right behind liza p it's Especially since I was playing Liza P in recent times. Now, Liza P is like up there. It is by far the, my opinion, the blueprint of a closest to a Souls game that you'll ever get. I mean, obviously due to the scenery and what it is from a Pinocchio virtue. But yeah, I, I think that that would be probably the actual, uh, you know, the adopted brother or something of a Souls game. And so I feel that Anatria, the last song, I like, I like just saying that name, by the way. Anatria, I feel really does have that wave of, okay, here we we go it was so simplified to just understand this game and it doesn't overwhelm you too much the ui is very easy the ui is clean the gameplay is solid it feels fluid and it's not oversaturated with un unnecessary things it tells you everything that you need it tells you this is how you do this is how you will level up all your your skins you get different skins here's all your weapons that you and the looting is really easy also it helps you really organize and structure what you have what items you're utilizing and i could not be happier i also like the scenery it's not the most well-developed open or semi-open world game when you're looking at everything but it is something to look at that does definitely look gorgeous in my opinion especially during sunny i like the vibe of it 
I liked uh, there's a lot of cool music in there. There's a lot of the enemies and some of them are kind of just partying and dancing. So it looks pretty cool. Also, in certain ways, I liked how you go through. <laughs> I was even like battling enemies inside <laughs> like mini houses and stuff. And it was just funny because I, I'll, I'll try to like cut off the enemy, run away real quick. I try to evade and I'll try to hide in, in a mini house and they actually come right inside the house and start just whooping my ass too. So I thought that that was massively hilarious. This game is a, I don't, I don't know how much this game is going to be. And I don't know if this is going to be just exclusively on PC. If it does come to any type of format, like a, a game pass, this is going to be well worth the game. So we had to see full price, full launch and how it goes. I do love this. If you haven't played a souls like game, I would definitely recommend this. Uh, Eliza P if you have game pass and I'll recommend this if you have steam and you want to try out a demo so without paying for uh, you know Elden Ring and, and that how I can transition into that it these are for people that are probably too late to the Elden Ring to get the DLC and everything and they just don't want to play too much on the base game this game will help you not really have to do any research on a lot of souls like games or souls games it literally jumps you in I'm telling you it is so fast how the tutorial happens and how they get you playing and that is where i can respect them the most because i was someone who didn't get to complete the elden ring aspect the main base game in order to get into dlc i might have to continuously do that or i'll be a little later on that so this helped me out just like jump in and get my souls fixed for the day and i thought that that was pretty pretty cool so i gotta give them massive respect for that because in these days and age attention spans are very very short and to give us like a really quick tutorial be like okay here you go here. so they're assuming people that know how to play souls games and souls like games already and they're definitely helping out some beginners to an extent and they're just like all right cool jump in here's this button here's a heavy attack and then here's a light attack here's all your dodging here's how you lock on here's how you run here's how you roll here's how you jump and interact there's your loot there's your loadout there's your skin there's your items that's it and it's all simple ui it, that's where gaming excels in my opinion keep it simplified don't have to be too repetitive there's a lot of unique virtues on everything too so i thought that that was really cool i can respect that also so if this game does not go above and beyond like the way I'm trying to talk about it, I'm excited for this game. I think it could be the next best since Liza P. Um, even if it doesn't go that far, that's my prediction. You can always respect how quick they got me into the game, how flu uh, like how fluent it was, and how they respected my time. And you know, you jump in tutorial, boom, get into battles, boom, bo boss battle there, boom, another boss battle there boom there's some hefty enemies boom there's some loot there it was so cool how it just kept happening so the game just kept happening and happening and happening and that's what i really liked again not full open world but definitely i think a, a, a more of a semi open world than liza p was liza p is very linear and this game is very linear also to an extent like what i said a little bit more than liza p not as great at least aesthetically from what i'm seeing now because there is so yeah it's a demo they probably have to fix do some some post launch stuff there might be a couple of bugs sometimes frames will drop a little bit um i had to change up the quality settings a little uh, the settings a little bit just the graphics make sure everything was all right but this game is dope i had a great time with this game and it is it is unforgiving for sure it is intense unforgiving it is your souls like game that is nothing's fancy familiar with and it's just fun they have everything jump in it's a free demo have fun with it man anatria from the italian side huh? i appreciate it man y'all let me know what's up y'all tried this out peace